friends, and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal, and I am so excited that you guys are here today. Today, I am working on week 25, Project Life, and my inspiration for this week is a new release from Colorcast Designs. So this release is one uh, from today, and I will put links down in my description box for you guys to go and check out Jessica's store in case you are interested in purchasing any of the new acrylic pieces that she's releasing today. So um, the acrylic pieces that I am working with are a Monday through Friday set that looks like this. Uh, let's see if I, I'll pull the Tuesday, it might be easier to see. So they are these rectangular pieces that are perfect for things like memory keeping, but they're also really great for project life and that's what I'm going to use them on. So I've got Monday, through Sunday and um, the other acrylic piece I want to use is this title piece right here that says summer vibes so I want this to be my title piece and then to use the Monday through Sunday for my journaling cards so uh, what I've got here on my desk because this is a bit messy for me if you guys know how I usually craft uh, I have a lot going on here so what I did, I created a three by four canvas on Photoshop and uh, started my journaling an inch and a half down on, on the canvas. So my journaling goes from roughly an inch and a half to roughly three and seven quarters, or three and seven quarters, three and 3.75 inches. So three and three quarters of an inch. Um, so that gave me a little bit of space at the top and the bottom and also the sides to trim off. So once I printed it, I trimmed off uh, the edges. So these are actually three and a half inches tall and then just under three inches wide because I had a bunch of papers that I had jelly plated a while back. So, or whatever, printed, I printed them on my jelly plates. So I pulled a bunch of these out of my stash and I had colors that perfectly matched four of the seven uh, titles. So I've got Thursday, I've got Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday. And I'm also planning to use a little stamp um, sentiment underneath the titles as well. But I do not have anything for Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So I need to create something in the greens and the teals in order to go underneath um, underneath these cards right here. So I'm going to start today's video by doing some jelly printing with my uh, with my jelly plate or jelly, yeah, Ugh. jelly printing with my plate here. And then once I get those created and off to the side drawing, I will clear off this desk and get to work actually working on my project life spread for the week. I do already have my photos all printed. Uh, and I found a black card with white polka dots, and this is what I'm going to use for my title piece. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys on fast forward and start getting this stuff all done. So let's, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is set everything to the side except for those... Um, journaling bits and the title pieces, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday title pieces. I'm going to put those up in the corner so that I can keep an eye on the colors and try to match them as best as possible with the paints that I have available to me. Now, if you've never used a jelly plate before, these are basically like, think of almost the texture of jello, <laughs> I guess. Like it's really jiggly and squishy. And what you can do is add paint on top of it, like I'm doing right now. And then you can add on cardstock or watercolor paper or mixed media paper or any any type of medium here and it will pick up those paints. So what we're trying to do is to create a specific kind of color or a specific kind of pattern and then pick that up with the paper. So this will be the first one that I'm going to do and I'm trying to match it to the dark teal Sunday. So I have, um, oh gosh, it's one from Target. It's like a dark teal or a deep teal color from Target. And then I also pulled out a true blue, a lime sort of green and a white acrylic paint. Um, so 
That first one, I just used a lot of the darker teal color and white. And then to clean off the... Um, the jelly plate in between the different uses or in between the different colors. I just use a wet paper towel. It doesn't always get all of it, but that's okay with me, especially since these are all in the same color family. So the greens and the blues and the teals, um, they intermix with each other. So I was totally fine with that. So once I had the deeper teal made, I then wanted to try and see if I could come up with something as close to the Saturday color as possible. It took me a few tries to get something that I liked enough to be able to use it. It was actually just a really hard color to match. So like this one right here looks like it's going to be right. Oh, also that little rolly thing, in case you've never used these before, is called a brayer. It just helps you to, um, what do I want to say, to, to get your paint all over the jelly plate there before you pick it up. I could have just kept it kind of like this and I think one of them I do it might even be this one that I decide to just like add some pattern into there and then pick it up yep so you can play around with these jelly plates in lots of different ways you can mix colors you can try out different patterns um, you can try out different mediums like I'm using acrylic paints but you could also use watercolors you could use all different kinds of stuff inks uh, they pick up all different kinds of of uh, mixed media and then you know you can just create your own backgrounds with them which is essentially what I'm doing right here um there was another day gosh it, it was probably a couple months ago where I just spent a day making a bunch of these and so I have a whole stash of them but I really should have thought about making some making some in the colors of the rainbow because you know I had all of the reds and the pinks and the blues but I didn't have any green or teal or anything like that I don't even think I have purple on hand so I just need to uh, find a day where I can where I can just sit down and make a bunch of these so I'm struggling here I'm struggling to try and make that lighter teal color it's I don't know I think maybe my pink colors aren't quite right or maybe I just wasn't coming up with the right mix but I, I decided to throw some yellow in there too just to see if that helped if it needed yellow to make it better and this is how that one turns out so you can see the yellow in there it looks kind of cool so all of these that I'm making whatever's left over I will uh, use at another time. I just add them into a file of uh, mixed media backgrounds. And then when I'm doing projects like these where I don't necessarily have a specific journaling card or I'm not using one from a designed kit uh, and I just want some kind of background to play with, then I pull out that stash and look through them to see if there's anything that works for me. I also have... Um, watercolor backgrounds as well. So I just like to keep some of those on hand for, for things like this because I love the texture that they give and having, you know, colors that I've created or patterns that I've created. So now what I'm doing is uh, trying one more time to make that teal color. So I added green, I added white, and I'm adding just a little bit of blue. Um, right now I'm like making a complete mess <laughs> and splattering paint all over the place. So I'm going to have to pick that up off my board. I am using, I have a foam board underneath all of my stuff here. It's just a white foam board that I need to get a new one at some point because it's got stains on it from things like this, from painting and inks and all of that. I've tried to get them out. Um, if it were like a harder surface, I think I would have more luck getting the stains out. But because it is like a really porous uh, foam board, it doesn't work super great, but that's okay. We make do and it, you know, but the uh, cutting mat there, it comes off super easy. So that works out great. Okay. So now I've got a lighter teal that I'm happy enough with. I've got the darker teal, and then I just wanted to make a green one to match the Friday green. And then I'm going to put all the paints away. I'll peel this up so you can see it. And then we are going to start, um, getting the rest of this stuff assembled. So while those are drying, they are acrylic paint, so they take roughly five to 10 minutes to dry off on a separate table. And then uh, while they're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the sentiment stamped on all of these journaling cards. So the sentiment says, totally loving this. Uh, and all of the journaling that I did was stuff throughout the week that you know were happy things. So there's nothing like that I wouldn't totally be loving 
I guess, <laughs> inside any of the journaling. Um, so that sentiment worked to go across all of them. Plus, I like keeping things cohesive, especially when there's a lot of color or when things could be busy. I just like things to stay very structured and very similar and repeat shapes and repeat sentiments. So we've got the sentiment stamped on all of those. Um, next, I'm going to bring over, I think I'll bring over the... Um, other, whatever I want to call them, the other backgrounds that I made, but maybe I'm going to first do some other stuff here. So um, the Summer Vibes acrylic piece, I wanted it to pop off of something, like to really pop off of it. I tried putting some like multicolored backgrounds behind it. I tried using just white, but I felt like it just blended in too much. And it wasn't until I pulled out this black and white polka dot paper that I felt like it just like jumped out at me so this was perfect and I just cut that out of a larger piece of paper um and then I'm going to add that pink label which is from Kelly Perky I know that those are not in stock anymore uh, but the pink of it seemed super bright and colorful and went with all of this and I'm going to add my week and the dates or my week and week number and the dates into that label there and then add the acrylic piece right on top. So then I went ahead and pulled out all of the cards and photos just to get everything laid out and see what I still need to do here. I realized I forgot that I needed one extra spot there. I had originally thought of putting a photo, but I didn't like... Again, I like things to have just like, I don't know, like a simplicity, a structure to them. And so I didn't like that there was only one photo there and not, you know, and not in any of the other three by four pockets. So I thought instead that I would just make that a decorative piece. I grabbed out this watercolor I did a while ago. It had a lot of the same colors from it. And I decided that I would just um, cut that into another three by four piece and then look through my ephemera to see if I could find anything that would go in it and you know, pop out, but not take away from the rest of the spread. I found this piece right here. It says life is good. And I liked that it was solidly black with white writing because I felt like it brought in the black from the title card. Um, and I also liked the sentiment, the life is good. And, um, yeah, so I'm just going to add that on top of the watercolor, which I just cut into a three by four piece. Whenever I am taping something down onto a mixed media page, so whether it is watercolor or acrylics or whatever it is, I always use score tape instead of roller adhesive because it holds a lot better. Like it's a much stronger hold than roller adhesive. Um, so that is definitely a piece of advice I have is if you are taping anything down on mixed media, definitely use something that's got more stick to it. I know I could also use um, liquid adhesive and that would work too. But for the acrylic pieces, I just use my roller adhesive. That will work just fine and you know it will permanently hold those down. Plus these are going to go inside of a pocket. Um, so I'm not too worried about the pieces falling out or falling off from handling and whatnot. So next I'm going to move on to the um, title here. So I added my adhesive to the back of the Summer Vibes and then I'm going to place the little label there in position, but before I actually stick down the Summer Vibes, I'm going to add my date stamping. Because Kelly Perky labels are a little bit more slick, um, I find that a lot of inks or a lot of pens will smear right off of it. So I do use stays on to put my date onto this label. That way I don't have to worry about it coming off or, you know, I don't have to worry about me accidentally smudging it if I were to touch it once it dries. So that is all good. So I'm going to add those dates. Then I will stick down the acrylic piece on top and then we'll also add in the uh, summer word. So all of those pieces come separate, which is really cool. So you can either use them all together, like I'm going to do, where you put the inside pieces into the uh, title there, or you could also turn them into two separate titles. So you could use the Summer Vibes white piece as a title, and then you could totally take the colorful pieces and make those into a title as well. But I like the way that it looks inside of the word, especially since my journaling cards are rainbow color. 
So for my week and number, I just abbreviated with WK and did 25. Those little tiny puffy alphabets are from Feature Craft. Um, I really like how small they are, especially for things like this where I don't have a whole lot of room. So it allowed me to still add my week number because I just didn't want to skip that. You know, I've done 24 weeks with the week number on there, so I wanted to add it to this one too. So I did go ahead and add some adhesive to the back of those colorful pieces, added those in, and then I found this teal acrylic heart just from my stash, also color cast designs, but I'm pretty sure that that one's not in the shop anymore. But it just worked to have something a little bit extra on that card. So um, somewhere in there, I also went ahead and cut out the... Um, mixed media pages I had made so you can see them there on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And last but not least, I want to add a little bit of embellishment to these photos. So what I had were these rainbow colored circle cardstock stickers, rainbow colored uh, star cardstock stickers, and then an Allie Edwards uh, tiny, what does she call them, like refrigerator alphabet or refrigerator words, phrases, something like that. Um, they're just really tiny bits and pieces and they just have one word on them. Uh, these are older. I don't even remember what kit they came in, but they just have one word on them and they are, um, they are chipboard stickers. So what I decide to do for these is to grab a circle sticker that matches the color of the journaling card that it goes to and to add a word and a star to each of those circles. Once I do that, this spread is done. All right, you guys, that finishes up this week of Project Life. Love the way that this turned out. Those colors are amazing, and the acrylic pieces were just really fun jumping off points for creating the spread this week. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of my future crafty videos. Don't forget to also look down in that description box for links to any of the products that I used in case you are interested in picking those up for yourself. Um, yes, so I will be back tomorrow for a, um, for a spread in my story album for Story Kit Crush. It is actually the last story using the home kit before switching to a new kit to crush. So I look forward to showing you guys that tomorrow. And until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye now.